I love a good BJ. And check out this BJ42, she's a screamer. It's a original mustard, but this one's been wrapped aligned. It's 10th month, 90, 1980, and the owner's um, been working on it himself. He's uh, got it all ready. It's down from Rockhampton. I'm actually gonna go on a, a week long run with this vehicle very soon. We're doing a drought run to raise some money for uh, the drought stricken Queensland. And I'll be wheeling with this guy. He's, um, we'll take it from the front because there's a lot going on with this vehicle. It's got one of the ARB bars, not from its day, the reproduction ones. And the Thomas Winch, it's all hooked up. Everything's running there. The LED light on the front, it's in here for the whistle and soot turbo. And uh, Harley's done a lot of R&D on the 3B now. So we're, we're stockers and fitters of the whistle and soot and we're fitting them to the 3B now, so she's got a lot of punch. But on the exterior of this, not just the Raptor liner, I've got to show you this, I love this. This is a cool mod, he's uh, done this himself, and he's um, blocked it off nice and dark in here, but I, I dig this. Just grab your stubby, again I meant soft drink, and off you go, really dig that. He's got the old, old man emu lift on here, he's running the 33s, Got the flares on there so everything's tucked in and legal. She's all done properly, this one. We'll go to, there's a lot going on inside. Richard's put some pyro gauges in and um, a lot happening, so we'll go and have a look what's happening inside this vehicle. Check out the interior. It's, uh, there's a lot going on. We've got the car builders up the top. Um, we blanked off the, the side window so it's nice and dark and cozy in here. Um, We've got the Falcon seats, the XR8 or XR6 seats in here. They've got the Hurricane adapters. She's all legit. We, um, while it's here, we mod plated that for him. Up the top, this console's got a lot going on. That's where he controls his uh, light bar, interior lights, which are on the console. Uh, dual battery, ARB rear locker. He's got the UHF and the stereo and speakers all up there. Richard's also mounted his boost and pyro gauge which is a, a dual gauge. We've mounted that up there for him too, so he can um, monitor his turbo and enjoy that. I dig, it's got the, um, the factory floor and there's, apart from a little bit of dust, she is in awesome condition. Uh, a really well sought after item now that you just don't see and not in that condition. And um, having the PTO winch, it's all controlled from the floor there. That's really cool. A non-molested dash, again, that's why you, you put consoles in these, to keep them nice and clean inside, and it's just a sweet little setup. Uh, the air con's over there, so this is a five-speed with air con, with power steering, uh, all factory, because it was a 3B, it was um, options towards the end of the, um, the 40s life, and this one's got them all. So uh, heading back around to the, the back of the vehicle. So rear end, Nice tinted windows, it's got all the genuine stuff going on. The bumperettes are still on it. The tire carrier's still on it. And pretty basic inside. He's put some switches here to control uh, lights up in here. And on uh, this side, I won't open it up. That's where the fridge lives. And on this side, he's custom drawers. So she's ready to tour and it's all set up. He's gonna drive it today back from Brisbane to Rockhampton, take her home, get to test this turbo. Let's go have a look at the turbo. Under the bonnet, check the show and tell out. Well done, whistle and soot. This has been an R&D vehicle, so um, everything's new. It's all um, the crossover pipe, the turbo, the exhaust, the uh, airbox. It's all the first time for a 3B, so uh, We've nailed it with, with Harley's R&D and us fitting this in, it fits a treat. So we can book them in now. We're doing 3B uh, turbos. Not much else going on in here. You've got the, uh, it's got the rear locker. So she's got the uh, ARB air compressor up here. And having that turbo on there, it still fits the air compressor for the um, air con, it still fits the power steer. Everything still fits in there. So it's come up really nice. But what's going on now is um, I've driven this uh, pre-turbo the customers coming in about an hour's time so I'm going to take it for a burl now and drive it with a, uh, the turbo in it well, I haven't driven this one yet I'm pretty excited so let's see how far she goes <laughs> 